Hi friends, welcome to our channel Be a Wise Investor. Please note, I am not a SEBI registered investment advisor. Contents of this video are for information purpose only. All investments are subject to market risk. If you are not understanding the risk or not ready to face the risk, please avoid stock market investment. We are very much thankful to you all who have shared, supported and subscribed our channel Be a Wise Investor. Please like, share and subscribe this channel. Good evening friends. Since it's closed at 60,105.50, a loss of 10 points. Nifty closed at 17,895.70, a loss of 18 points. Bank Nifty closed at 42,233 points, 32.70, a gain of 217.95. Rate gain travel tech continues to rank amongst the best technology products at the 2023 Annual Hotel Tech Awards. Grease Cotton showcases its sixth, six new electric two and three wheeler at Expo, Auto Expo 2023. Rights Limited has signed an MOU with IIT Kanpur for mutual assistance and cooperation to strengthen and develop a sustainable future. Sun Pharma's wholly owned subsidiaries announced the launch of a novel anti cancer drug. Atul Green Tech Private Limited, a subsidiary of Atul Auto, announced its foray into electric space with unveiling of two electric three wheelers. VST Tillers and Tractors Limited, Malur Plant wins IMXCL commitment price. Reliance Geo Infocom Limited launches two 5G in Uttarkhand. Power Theatre announced the launch of cutting edge 5G services in Kochi. Asiana Housing Limited has sold. 1148 units with saleable area of 17,26,804 square feet for 877.81 crores for 9 months ended December 2022. Vibo Global Board will meet on 24th January to consider and approve Q3 result and interim dividend. <coughs> Over 1000 US flights affected after outage of key FAA advisory system. Saroda has bought 1.26% stake in RBL Bank Limited during October to December 2022. Prabhudas Lilada says Bank of Baroda may give 20% return in long term. <coughs> ICCI Securities top picks in metal sectors are JSPL by Target 750, Jindal Stainless Steel by Target 270, Shyam Metallics by Target 425, IC Securities bullish on APL Apollo by Hindalco by NMDC ad, Tata Steel hold, National Aluminium hold, sale reduce and Jindal Steel, sorry, JSW Steel sell. Hindalco to raise up to 700 crores from bond issue. Rekha Jinjalwala reduced increased stake in Geojit Financial Services in Q3 financial year 2023. PNB, BNP Paripas given by recommendation on TCS. ICC security has given by call on Serma SGS with a target price of 350. RVNL to construct 10 km elevated wire ducts for Chennai Metro Rail. Micro and small enterprises corner 55% of the total orders placed on GEM portal. FIS increased stake in 5 sectors in 2022. Metals and mining, auto components, oil and gas, financial services and FMCG sector. Bharti Airtel falls after JP Morgan downgrades its stock. Direct tax collection grows 24.58% to 14.71 trillion till 10th January. Cabinet clears 2600 crore scheme to promote rupee debit card. Jandan account total balance surge to 1.8 lakh crore in December. Birla Mutual Fund expects 8 to 10 percentage return from equity markets this year. Notable shares which reach 52 week high today are CG Power, GRP Limited, JSPL, Nelcast, Pony E Road, RKEC, Schneider, Sterling Tools, Cider Licenses, etc. Notable shares which reached 52 week low today are Atul Limited, Biocon, Bharat Rasayan, Glaxo, Galaxy Supercans, K Fintech, Krishna, Lars Lab, Nureka, Sin Lab. Today's most active stocks in terms of volume are S Bank followed by Idea. In terms of value are Bharat Airtel followed by Reliance. 
Today in NSC 71 shares reached upper circuit and 39 shares reached lower circuit and 12 shares reached both upper as well as lower band. Notable shares which reached upper circuit are Andhra Semen, Apollo Microsystems, Atlanta, Bajaj Industan, Bikaji, BPL, Educom, Infomedia, Paras Petro, PSB, PTC, Sal Steel, Simlab, etc. Notable shares which reach lower band today are Akshar, Brooks, DJML, Globe, Global, Indowin, Paracables, United Poly, Winnie Overseas, etc. Top 5 gainers in Nifty 50 today are Hindalco gained 2.77%, BPCL gained 1.57%, Sun Pharma gained 1.46%, Ultra Taxman gained 1.40%, HDFC Bank gained 1.32%. Top 5 losers in Nifty 50 are Bharti Airtel lost 3.46%, Sipla lost 2.79%, Divis Lab lost 2.56%, Apollo Hospital lost 2.52%, Hindustan Unilever lost 1.95%. FIs are net sellers today to the tune of 3208.15 crores, whereas DAs are net buyers today to the tune of 2430.62 crores. These all are the information available with me now for sharing. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you find this useful, please like the video, share it with your friends and relatives and subscribe the video please.